That's the air conditioning vent. I have to put my sandwiches and my meat sandwiches on there because I'm not allowed to use the refrigerator. This is so ridiculous. Comparing the Shauna I knew in letters over years of writing each other with the Shauna I'm actually living with and know now, it's like literally like two different people. So I have to hide my meat on the air conditioning vent. Otherwise, I go meatless in Elkhart. They want me to live off corn. Uh, how did you come up with the idea to store the sandwich on the air conditioning vent? It didn't take a lot of creativity to figure out how to store something on an air conditioning vent. We do it in prison a lot. <laughs> when we can find flowing air, we try to put stuff up there. It's kind of weird to say that, that it's a bad situation here, but it's the psychological stuff that's so bad. Staying in this house, in some ways, is like prison. Um, Sharna got branded Warden Sharna, Warden Sharna, by my girl. And I started to see that. I was like, babe, why are you saying that? And then she kept pointing things out. And like, she says, you're letting a lot go. Sharna finds everything to be somehow on a front. You're free, but not really. Right. In certain respects, you'd have more freedom in a prison. Sharna doesn't change one bit to accommodate anybody else's feelings or concerns, nothing. So. It's ridiculous that I have to come in here, make sure she's not around, and sit down and eat on this toilet seat. But unfortunately, that's what I have to do. In prison, the cells aren't very big, so a lot of times you do sit on the toilet to have a meal. It's really disgusting, especially in that environment. But we do what we have to do uh, to avoid ward Warden Sharna, the meat police. This is textbook prison technique 101, using toilet paper for everything through, but kind of preconditioned to use it for everything. We don't get paper towels in prison. So that's it. Pepperonis were smuggled out of the prison. I was told this is a house rule where I couldn't have meat in the house, couldn't cook it in the house. Shauna doesn't like the smell. It's very annoying that I have to sneak around like this, like a child. Oh, I'm in heaven, so much heaven. Hey, baby girl. Uh, about five foot five on a good day. Five foot six, maybe. I'd love to see you. I'm really excited to see Mary. On the FaceTime, it's, it's called. It's something new to me. We talk every day, sometimes from, you know, first thing in the morning, 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning, all the way through 10 or 11 o'clock at night. I thought I heard somebody outside the door. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Mary lives in Central California. We met through a friend, and we've only ever talked on the phone and saw a few pictures of her. And I'm looking forward to FaceTime with her as much as possible and until she moves out here. I'm just enjoying some pepperoni and a ham sandwich. <laughs> I mean, I'm breaking all the rules today. <laughs> Warden Shauna runs a very complicated institution over there. Shauna wasn't too thrilled about a relationship that I'm in now with Mary. And she's expressed concerns about that. I wish that Sharno and Mark could be happy for me. I want to see these rules? They, they got them posted on the wall here. Like a prison where they post the, the rules on the walls. Let's see here. No overnight guests. No R-rated movies. Oh, we say no gluttony, no exercise. But what are the penalties that'll result in? The penalties, uh, I don't know, perhaps uh, 30 lashes or uh, I don't get clean clothes for a week or something. I don't know. Hey, Bill. Yeah. It's locked. Hold on, Mark. Hold on, babe. Mark, Mark's coming in. I'm talking hey. to Mary. I'm talking oh. to Mary. Hey, say hello to Mark. Hello. What's going what? on, bud? Oh, not much. Just wondered how you're doing. Oh, you're eating in your room now. That's not good. <laughs> is is it is it meat? Yeah, it's ham. It's uh, pepperoni. We don't really do meat in this house, so that's... 
All right, Mayor, I gotta figure out how much time I have to spend in the penalty box over this one. All right, I love you, sweetheart. Love you, too. Bye, Bye. Ba bye baby. Bye. To see Mary was, um, well, it's just disheartening to see him obsessing with her. And I just wish that uh, he would realize how fragile his psyche really is. He just recently released, falling in love with the first woman that will, you know, talk to him. And I just really worry that he's going to get his heart broken, and we're going to be right in the middle of cleaning up the mess. I'm just, I'm just wondering how, how this would work with, you know, how long you've known her. I think it's a good, it's a good situation for both of us. Well, I think that we're both really worried about you because, because you have this need for love that we all do. And if you don't have time to, to set aside for yourself and respect yourself enough to realize that you can do this without anybody. You can get back into society without, you know, some gal that says she loves you. I just wish you and Shorna would get a, take a chance to know her, even if it's gotta be forced in the beginning. I guarantee you she'll grow on you and you'll see she's genuine. Okay. So have a good one. All right, man. Good night. Good night. Thanks, bud. living like I'm in prison, bull****, man. Coming out of prison, you know, I haven't been with a woman in 18 years. I know that I'm vulnerable, but I know it's genuine, my relationship with Mary, and I, I firmly believe that. And Mary is who she says she is, but I have to be very careful because I'm paroled here. If this doesn't work and Mark and Shauna kick me out, I'd either end up homeless or back in prison. I feel like I'm in this massive, very emotionally painful catch-22. It is so overwhelming, you just kind of want to lay down in bed and get under the covers and... And just get, get away from it all, just, uh, just relax. Rules and unicorns, that's not cool. The rules. After 18 years, I am finally free. They're just out of prison. I'm about to take an inmate in to live with me. You have your list of rules. What the hell did I get myself into here?